Hey guys, this is Versatile, and in today's video game tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can emulate Xbox 360 game controller using a PC USB, or in my case, a PS2 USB game controller for the newest PC game, Watch Dogs. So how does this work? If you go to the more info section, I got a link where we're going to go to the X360 CE website. Go ahead and download the latest copy of the program, which is this one here, 191, and then also go ahead and download the 64-bit libraries. So what we're going to do is go into your Watch Dogs folder, Go to the bin folder, and what you want to do is go ahead, open up your um, 212191 zip file, and what we're going to do is go ahead and copy that X360CE program into the bins folder here. Let's go ahead and run it real quick. So it's going to ask you to create an INI file and DLL files. If you're curious about the type of PS2 adapter I'm look, uh, using, excuse me, look in the bottom then corner of this video. So I'm going to go through all the different settings here for controller port 1, and we're going to do it one more time for controller port 2. We're good to go. Awesome, go to controller one, make sure buttons work, triggers, D-pads, awesome, click on save. Okay, now what we're going to do is go ahead and we're going to go back to the 64-bit library files. So let's go ahead, open that, extract everything into here. Okay, so I'm going to do that, replace everything, good to go. Now, one thing you do want to do is if you were to start Watch Dogs right now, it's going to give you this message about you know, configuration file does not match X360CE version. So what we're going to do is go into the X360CE.ini file, and then we're going to add a new line and say version equals one, file, save. That's it. And now your game controller should work properly with the watch, watch dogs. If for whatever reason your controller still is not working, make sure to read the readme.rtf file. It's got really good instruction about the system requirements, and you might want to look into that just in case you don't have this stuff already pre-installed. So now we're ready to use the game controller inside Watch Dogs. So let's go ahead, launch the Watch Dogs game, and I'll show you how that works in the next portion of this video tutorial. Let's do this. All right, here we are at the main menu of Watch Dogs. So let's do this. Take a look in the camera, guys. Here's my PS2 game controller. Let's go down to options here. Go to controls, get on controller, control scheme, and here's the default options and how that works. So let's go ahead. Let's continue my story here and continue the gameplay. All right, sweet. So we are in the game. Let's go ahead. Here's my game controller. Here are the cameras clearly working, guys. Uh, sorry if it's, it's lagging, if it lags a little bit, just because I'm recording with Fraps, but it'll be okay in the end. So here I am running around. If I press the triggers here, let's take out my, hey, you know, know gun. Know you know, we can see that's working. Press the select key. Here's the map, right? So let's get out of there. Uh, let's go ahead. Let's jump this area here. Let's go ahead and steal a car. You want to see, um, let's see what else I can do here. Sorry about that. Mess with the traffic lights. Oh yeah. Good. You got out. Hey, this car looks pretty nice. Need some wheels. Give me a call. I'll set you up. Jack in the cars. All right, that's what I'm talking about. But anyways, you can clearly see that this game works out fine with that X360 with my PS2 game controller. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on YouTube page. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.